you're right. I mean, for three quarters, we, we, we had the game on our terms. We played a really good front half game. Um, we put a lot of pressure on them, especially the third quarter. Got our reward in the third quarter. I think when it dried up a little bit, then they started moving the ball a bit better, and then they, um, you know, then they reversed it and uh, they played it in their half of the ground, and we just made some probably some fundamental errors. Probably panicked a little bit um, in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Um, gave away a couple of easy goals. I mean, to Collingwood's credit, I mean they've been the top four for a reason, and you know they're a really good team, and um, we knew you're not going to get on your own terms all the time. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll be totally honest. I mean, he's a bit worried there with about six minutes to go. Um, you're hanging on for dear life, and uh, but our, our players found a way. Yeah, he's a huge chance to play. Um, and uh, again, um, if 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 he's not fit or healthy enough to play 100 minutes of footy, then we won't pick him. But all signs are heading in the right direction. Um, he's up and about. Um, and clearly, he's you know an integral part of our team. So he'll he will um, train next week, and he'll look to play. The surgery was really um, simple, um, even though he obviously had to have surgery. And so that every box was ticked, ticked there, so there was no setbacks on the surgery. So you know, Lockie Whitfield will definitely be putting his hand up next week if he gets there. He gets there. If he doesn't, he doesn't.